We ask our viewers to send in their wacky drawings and they definitely send some. We're gonna take some of them and turn them into a full flesh 3D game, with each drawing getting more complicated as we go. So this is the first drawing. A drunk, oh sorry, a not drunk cucumber by Bizarre Gopesh. We're gonna go for a pixel art 3D type style, cause that's the best we can do for now. We just started off with the feet of his and made our way up and created the base of his body. We added in the darker parts so you can actually tell it's a cucumber. The arms obviously can't be missing and he does the T-pose instead of his drunk position because you wanna rig him so you can actually move in the game and fight us and T-pose funny. We then added the single eye he has, the juicy lips of his with his nice teeth. And look at him, look at him. Of course we couldn't forget his tongue that is very visibly out there. It looks pretty decent for the first time trying to model a 3D character, right? Now that we've got his model, we can just put him into Blender. And here he is, already rigged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, it is now time to actually code the game. So we just opened Unity and we also downloaded this gun for the game that will be used to, you know, shoot the drawings. We then yoinked this free first person controller. I'm like a lazy boy, I can say that your asset is nice. Okay. And you can actually walk around in our game now. You can shoot around and aim and stuff. And this is the first enemy in the game, baby. Mr. Cucumber can front kick the hell out of you and he also two shots you. So maybe don't get kicked. Now that we have Mr. Cucumber in the game, we also need a map. And we found the perfect one for that. It's even the same art style. But you can't download it. Now we could use our own imagination and work on a map that is equally as creative as it is great or just try to copy the map that we found. So step 1 to stealing the map is to lay the base. We started off with the sand and continue to make the stone formations. Let's work on our first ever tree. Just have to lay the wood, add some dark features to it and copy it. I can't copy it. Alright, we're gonna come back to the whole map creating thing. The next drawing is by Okai. Okay? And it's this Lightning McQueen with arms as wheels. Are you alright Okai? Like, mentally and stuff. Wow, I am an artist, but basically cars that when you look at them, they freeze and become normal, but look away and they become horrifying. I am horrified, yes. All right, time to model Lightning McQueen with arms. So we just started off with this car model that is already there as a preset and colored it red. We added these nice wings to the car that Lightning McQueen has and basically every sports car. And after that, we added his eyes. He looks just a tiny bit dead inside. But we're gonna move on for now. Add the first arm and just copy and paste them onto the other wheels. Now I think we should actually give him real eyes and a nice smile. But this is all just a facade to hide the suffering and pain he's been through. And we tuned him up a bit with some nice stripes and stuff. And this is the finished Lightning McQueen with horrifying arms. Terrifying yet pretty cool for some reason. In the game he will be throwing boulders at you with his arms which looks very cursed but the whole game is going to be cursed so that's not a problem. Now let's try to work on the map again. We need to finish the tree. The tree on the nice looking map looks like this so just try to copy that. Alright, looking good so far. It's kind of starting to look like a Christmas tree. Yep, it definitely looks like a Christmas tree and the actual wood is way too big. Just add a lot more blocks to it and it looks fine now. Next up we just added a few more cliffs in that and let's try to copy this structure right here. Doesn't look half bad, right? I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, I think I'm mentally ready for the next drawing. So this one was made by Sir De Vanilla. shout out to my boy. And it's a baby with his head. Just a little bit weird, but easy enough to make. We start with the slappers again and work ourselves up to his diapers. How do you come up with this stuff? Anyways, the body is done and for the head, let's just create a huge cube. Let's make his hollow cheeks. I mean, on the drawings, he does look like this guy. So there's that. We made his mouth and eyes and now we need to work on this blue thing he has at the back of his head, which is more difficult to do than you think. He looks a bit traumatized. He definitely has seen some things. All right, we finished his blue head or whatever that is and also gave him his hair. Oh yeah, and we fixed his traumatized look. He looks a bit angry now, but that's better than what we had before. Just give him his arms really quickly and that's that. This is how he looks in his finished form. A baby with a weird looking head. Now we wanted to use this auto rigging tool which would create his bones for us and do everything way faster than us. But his texture kind of bugged and he now looks like the earth. But he can do his little dancey dance. Yeah, so we needed to rig him manually and also made his animations. This is his walking animation. And because he's a baby, why not make him spawn more babies? Have a baby army. These little fellows spawn every few seconds and also attack you. And they're quite tanky though, but damn. We've got two drawings left before creating the huge octopus. But what we have to do right now is to work on the map again. Some trees were planted on the map for the ambience and we just placed this pre-made model right here. It's a little viking woman. And why not put a deer right there? 
it's slowly taking in the shape of a fighting arena, which is great. We also added our logo into the map because we need the ego boost. This corner is going to be the coast area with a little watchtower we made and some nice water. What's 9 plus 10? So this is how the map is looking right now. It's a little empty in the middle and needs some finishing touches, but so far it looks pretty nice. And it's not 100% stolen from the other one, so we won't get imprisoned, right? Now for the next drawing we asked our friend to make one and she gave us this. A flamingo with horns and some spikes. Now it looks pretty simple, right? Well, our first try of modeling the flamingo took an hour and turned out like this. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it's not great either. So we needed to try again. We began as usual by making his legs. So far so good. Looks pretty decent. Now comes the hard part though, the body. We're just gonna use a huge sphere for that, and I guess it kind of resembles the body of a flamingo the most. Just make it wide. We then began working on the tail? Do flamingos have tails? The behind of the flamingo. And it ain't much, but it definitely looks more promising than the last one. And now the end boss, the head of the flamingo. The thing that really separates the good artist from the bad artist. We just use this torus shape, aka the donut, to form the neck. The neck looks decent, right? Now let's see how the head will be. It's time for a time lapse. While this time lapse is going on, you might want to check out the first link in the description for a free PDF on how to actually get started with coding. Alright, you can't tell me that this one doesn't look 100 times better than the first version of the Flamingo. We then just added the spikes of the Flamingo, and this is the finished model. What kind of animation did we give him though? Yeah, this is not our best work. We kind of ruined the beautiful creation, but hey, we've got a baby that spawns more babies and a car that throws rocks with his arms, so it's not the worst out of the bunch. And it also two shots you, but it's incredibly hard to actually get hit, so... Moving on to the next drawing. This one was made by Tia, and it's a fluffy looking dragon. Or a very hairy worm. Actually pretty cute though. So let's get straight into it. We made this form to resemble the basic shape of the dragon, so now we just need to add a head. It kind of looks like a worm, but we'll take what we got. Make the horns really quickly, copy them over. Next up we gave the dragon these pinkish patterns that the one on the drawing also has. And boom! It resembles the drawing and it wasn't too difficult to make. And I think this one has the best attack animation out of all of them. This is how it's going to look when the dragon flies through the air and look at this. The fire attack goes hard, bro. I think this is my favorite one out of the bunch. Now last but not least, the octopus. We went straight to work and just started off with this huge purple ball and added this other shade of purple to it. Now we tried around a bit with a few tools, but they didn't really help. So we used the good old donut again to make the first tentacle. We just added blocks on top of blocks until it resembled something an octopus would have. We added a few more tentacles to the octopus and this is how he's looking right now. Does he have a face? No. Does he have 8 arms? No. But that is because octopuses actually have 6 arms and 2 legs. And the drawing also tells us that he only has 6 tentacles. Now you might think that you just can't see the rest of his tentacles because of the drawing. But what we didn't reveal is that he's actually holding a briefcase, meaning he only has arms. He lost 2 legs somehow, meaning our version of the octopus is actually the right one. Yeah, we just kind of forgot that octopuses actually have 8 tentacles. Now coming back to the 3D model. We carved in his mouth and added his tongue and teeth. We drew his eye and then made this little cute top hat that he has. We finished the model with his other eye and that's done for the octopus. We animated the little guy and here he is in game. He creates an epic earthquake which damages you when hit with the dust. And here we have it, all of the bosses that were made with the drawings we received. Now there's one thing left to do, implement them all into a game. We finally finished the entire map and it looks pretty good in my opinion. We added a few boulders and trees in the middle so you can actually hide behind them. We imported the map into the actual game and put a shader over everything. We also added the UI, so you can choose between the drawings you want to fight. And the game is pretty intense. Oh! God, no. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Now you might want to check out this video where we create yet another game. And you might as well subscribe so we can rule the internet one video at a time.